So this is the all new Golfstone Wave, by far one of the most anticipated golf launch monitors and simulators of the year. Now, Golfstone's mainly known for building some of the coolest golf simulators in the world, including the Golfstone 2 Vision, which is by far the most realistic golf simulator that I've ever reviewed here on the show. Now, with the Wave, what Golfstone wanted to do was bring their amazing commercial golf simulator technology into our homes, but at a price we can actually afford. Now, what immediately sets the Golfstone Wave apart from its competitors is that it gives you the ability to putt with it. And I'm not talking about clunky putting as we've seen with some of the other brands that are out there. But I'm telling you, this is extremely accurate putting data and it's all because of this guy. Now, in today's video, we're gonna be checking out the Golfstone Wave simulator to find out if it really is the best golf launch monitor and simulator of the year. So let's do this. Over the past couple of months, we've seen a bunch of new golf simulators hit the market for some of the biggest brands in golf, including Rapsodo and Skytrack. Now, I extensively reviewed both of them here on the show, but you are probably asking yourself, who's Golfzone? Well, that's exactly what I said when I first heard about the Wave. Well, Golfzone is actually the number one golf simulator company in the world with locations in some 63 countries and with over 12,000 commercial sites. Now, just in 2022 alone, it had over 87 million rounds of golf were played on their sims. And with the Golf Zone Wave, they want to use this simulator technology, which has been perfected over the last 20 years, and really make it into an attainable package for all golfers that they can use at home. Now, the Golf Zone Wave comes in at $3,995. Now, what do you get with it? Well, you actually get the Wave itself. Now, this is a dual device, and it's both optical and Doppler. If you see the white line here, this is actually used to orient towards your target. It has a replay camera, which actually records every swing you take, and you can view it on your Wave Skills app. And what's amazing is the battery life is up to four hours. And it also comes with a carrying case, a tripod, a power cable and adapter. Now this is actually used for the Wave device, a USB-C cable. Um, this is what is used for what I think the coolest part of the Golf Zone Wave the multi-sensor infrared putting mat. Now this allows you to get really accurate putting numbers while inside the software. Now in terms of software, there's actually four softwares with the Golf Zone Wave. Now the first one is the Vision Wave. Now this is the golf simulator for your PC only and is where the Wave really shines. But if you want to run through it, you're gonna need a gaming PC. And I'm not joking, it might take up about three hours to set this thing up because it's a huge file. Now, this could be a downside to this unit, but the reason why it takes so long is because it actually downloads every course in the game. And there's 148 of them, which you know honestly takes over about 70 gigs of hard drive space. But the good thing is you're only gonna have to do this one time and once this is done, it's so well worth it because of the higher level of quality you're gonna get from actually using the software instead of having to download or wait for things to load forever. Now, the next type of software is called the Wave Skills and thus can be used on both iOS and Android. And this is great if you're gonna to wanna to take this out to the range or just to dial in your game. So Golfstone actually has a couple different plans. Instead of spending thousands of dollars a year to access all the golf courses or features, Golfstone just makes it actually pretty affordable. Now, there's three pricing plans. They have a light and a basic and a premium. And as you can see, the premium is kind of the way to go. I mean, for $399, you get three years and you get everything, including over 140 golf courses to play, including some of the most famous in the world, like the Old Course St. Andrews, Beth Page Black, I mean, there's just tons of them here. And I mean, I spend more than that in one year if you add up the memberships that I have for both the Garmin, Rapsodo, E6, Awesome Golf. I mean, the list goes on. So the way the Golf Zone Wave works is through both Doppler radar and a camera, which turn gives us a very accurate carry numbers, spin numbers, and even club data. Now the Wave actually gives golfers 34 different ball and club data parameters, including carry, side spin, ball speed, club speed, launch angle, face angle, face the path, spin rate, to just name a few. And what is really cool is it's precision putting data. Now, this combines with 26 data points. It's just captured by the tri-sensor radar and the launch monitor, and the multi-sensor infrared putting mat then allows you to analyze an additional eight putting-specific parameters, including your putting distance, your putting direction, speed, your putter speed, your impact ratio, your total putting time. I mean, honestly, just just blows my mind. 
Now in order to set up the wave, you're gonna need a minimum of about six and a half feet behind the golf ball to the wave, and you're gonna need another 11 and a half feet in front of you from where you're actually hitting the ball. So let's maybe be a total of about 18 feet. Now this could be a downside for players who have limited space, such as a small simulator room, a garage, or if you're hitting into a net. I mean, 11 feet is pretty far, so you'll definitely need a taller, wider net or screen, or you're not gonna be able to use wedges or lower irons that have a higher ball trajectory. And even though you're gonna need a little bit more room to use the wave, it's so well worth it. So now that we know more about this amazing unit, let's go ahead and hit some shots and play with it. But before doing so, I just wanna say that I hope you're liking the video. And if you can do me a favor, can you please like and comment down below what you like most about the Golf Zone Wave? And don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I love giving away the golf gear I review to here to my subscribers. So the Golf Vision Wave software is where I really think this separates itself from the pack. And the way it works is once you go ahead and you install it to your computer and you connect it to the actual wave unit, you click here and now you're going to actually see the player settings. Now, if you're online, which I'm not right now because I'm connected to the unit itself, you can play with other people from around the world. All right, so once we're done, we'll go ahead and say hit this next button and now we can actually pick what we want to do. So we have three choices here. You can either do network play, stroke play, or driving range. I'm gonna show you first is the driving range and then we'll get to the stroke play, which is the actual playing golf and which I think is really a ton of fun. And click next and now we're gonna wait. So right now we're in the driving range mode. Here you can see all the numbers. Also here you can see what kind of where we're hitting it on the map in terms of what our percentages are. I hit that kind of fat and I did that on purpose because I kind of want to see if it picked up a missed shot. Now, it totally did here. So on that last shot, the seven iron only hit 111 yards. Now, that's not what I normally hit with my seven iron, but let's just hit one more to see if I can get this right. But let's go ahead and do our normal shot now. Now, as you guys can see, there's a nice big target area on the field and it's at about 150 yard mark. And for me, that's my normal range, is about 150 to my seven iron. You can see here, there's a practice area in a little map on the left-hand side, and it's kind of showing a scattered pattern as to where your balls are actually landing. And what's great is it actually does save all this information. So here we'll go back to this button and we'll actually go to pick whether or not to do a putting arena or putting approach. Let's just do approach first and then we'll do putting. So here's where at the approach, it's about 150 yards to the pin. And what you can do is if you don't wanna do 150 yards, let's say you wanna do 100 yards or less. So all you have to do is you can move the pin. Now, to do so, all you have to do is use the left and right buttons on your keyboard and it zooms in to the exact location you want. So let's do 100 yards maybe. Now I'm gonna grab my sand wedge and now this is a great way just to practice your pro shots over and over. I mean, this is where I kind of struggled with my game and to be able to dial in this is just a great way. And I just, I love how you're able to make it so simple and just practice that shot over and over again until you can kind of, you know, dial it in for yourself. Yeah, a little toey. All right, so about 93 yards. I mean, that's about as far as I can hit this sand wedge normally. So it's really cool because you can start seeing the scattered pattern again and where I'm supposed to go and kind of where the ball is on the left-hand side of the screen here where I actually did go. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the putting and this is really, really cool. And I've never seen anything this cool on a simulator that you can use at home that actually works and honestly, it's just not clunky. So what you can do here is right now we're about 65 feet away. Now that's a long putt. So what we're gonna do is we're going to move the pin and I'm gonna do about a nine foot putt. And to me, that's always a hard putt, right? And if you can give the nine feet and you can knock it every, enti every time, you're, you're doing pretty darn good. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna putt in the middle of this little dot on the putting pad. Now I got a nine foot putt and this reads our stroke on the putt. So what I'm gonna do, see, is I'm gonna get this putt in. Ah, oh, too much. I did turn the face just a quite a little bit. Well, that's just crazy that it actually picked that up. I mean, right out of the gate, there's no lag here. It's like, as soon as you hit the ball, it goes. You're not waiting around, but I mean, for a good ways to practice a putt over and over again, and also you can use any ball you want, which is a huge time saver, because, you know, with some brands, you only use a certain kind of ball, like an RCT ball, 
And if you wanna just practice a shot over and over and over again, all you really have to do is have a bunch of balls right next to you, pull it onto the pad, and literally practice that putt over and over and over again on the, on the screen. Which, honestly, I, I just can't believe how much fun this is and what's a great way to practice. And this is a real game changer. Now, we've just been practicing, but what I want to talk to you about is the stroke play. And this is where we get some a lot of fun and actually just play some golf. With this unit, there's 148 different courses that are available. Now, I actually have all 148, but I didn't log in before I came in today. So, I mean, it has a ton and ton and ton of courses. So right now, let's just do Kiowa Island, and we're gonna hit next. And here you have more options. So concede means that if the balls are within a six foot circle or a six and a half foot circle, you're gonna automatically just get a gimme putt. Now here the greens are faster, there's a putting grid, and it can be thin or normal thickness of the grass. I'll just leave it the way it is. Uh, continuing putting is on, and so double concede is off. Mulligans were allowed to have our third. So let's go ahead and choose these modes. But once you kind of know what you want to do, you just hit start and it's going to start going. All right, so right now we're on the first hole at Kiowa and where you kind of need to go. The first thing I want to say is these graphics are really, really good as you guys can see. I mean, they're pretty phenomenal. Again, you can put the tee high, whatever you want. You can have a caddy feature, but we don't really have that right now because we're not on the green or near the green. But here you can also switch your clubs. Now I'm gonna use a driver because it's showing us that we're at least 218 yards out to where I wanna go. So as the system knows you better, it'll actually start moving this line. It's saying, okay, on average, that's what most people kind of hit at this kind of distance and we don't really know you yet and you're, since you're a guest. So we're just gonna assume that you can probably hit about 218 with your driver and this is where you need to be. Now there's a ton of stuff you can look at. You can go do flybys, you can change what you do on a mulligan, you can skip the hole if you don't like it, you can check your card, you can view the green line. I mean, check this out, this looks so realistic. Then also you can see the sloping actions. I mean, this is next level for this small of a unit at this price point. But let's go ahead and hit a drive and see how I do. All right, so I hit that decent. I mean, 212 for me is not my best work, but I mean, I did hit the ground a little bit on the back swing and I'll just take it. So what I like to play with is in the rough. And as you can see down below, it's saying, check this driving distance penalty of minus 10. So right now you get 10% less power on your shot. So right now it's showing me that we're actually, a, we're 156 yards from the hole, but I'm gonna take a 10% penalty because I'm in a thicker rough. And because of that, I got to take any consideration when I'm choosing my club. So maybe instead of doing a seven iron, I would go with a six iron on this hole because of that penalty. Whoa, all right, so I smoked it. Let's see if this penalty actually does do anything. Holy crap, that was definitely the right club. My six iron does not go 155 with that 10% penalty. Um, and we got on the green. We're on in two, which is just insane. And now we can do my favorite part, which is putting. So again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the ball, we're gonna put it in the middle of the circle, and it's showing we have a straight on putt because the white lines on the screen are not moving. Now, if they're moving to left or right or whatever, you know that there's gonna be a slope. But here we don't have a slope and we have a 30 foot putt. So let's just see if I get this thing in for a birdie. Okay, I think I'm in the ring and it's gonna give me a par. All right, so how fun was that? And we played our first hole of Kiwa in less than what, four minutes? And I parred it, which probably wouldn't happen in real life, but who knows? And now we're on to the next hole. And to be honest, the Vision Wave software, it really is next level. I mean, I could do this all day. I love the putting feature. It makes, it, it's so realistic. It's almost like I'm actually at the golf course. I would highly recommend to any of you guys out there looking for a semi season, this thing is the real deal. To be honest, I'm just blown away with the Golf Zone Wave. It is one of the best simulators and launch monitors I've ever used. I would highly recommend getting it if it's within your budget. Now, there's links down below if you wanna check it out. But if you wanna see what we thought of the SkyTrack ST Plus, the biggest competitor to the Golf Zone Wave, then check out this video right here and I'll see you out on the course.